the Great Convulsion, Temporary Countries After World War I. An essay by Leslie Zoret. Read using electronic voice generation. Preamble. In this essay, I will attempt to present some of the more renowned short-lived countries that formed in the territories of former Austria-Hungary and Russia, including modern-day borders of Poland. It only talks of European countries which match the criteria, and only discusses some more interesting examples. Only names, which the English voice machine cannot pronounce properly, will be read with my natural voice. Lemko Rusin Republic was created on December 5, 1918. It came about as a result of the Lemko ethnical population right above modern-day Slovakia. The republic rooted to unify with the Russian Soviet Republic RSFSR. After the negotiations in 1919, Poland took over the country in March of the following year. Komangza Republic founded on November 4, 1918, was the eastern neighbor of Lemko Rusin Republic. As a federation of villages, it as well claimed the representation of the Lemko people but strived to unify with the West Ukrainian People's Republic. However, the unification process was abruptly dismantled by the Second Polish Republic during the Polish-Ukrainian War. Komangza was de-established on January 24, 1919. The population of the Komangza Republic was around 18,000. West Ukrainian People's Republic was founded on November 1, 1918, as a breakaway state from the declining Austria-Hungary, which has already been crushed by both a prolonged war and a number of revolutions and separatist rebellions. A population of over 5 million stood up. On January 22, 1919, the Republic united with the Ukrainian People's Republic under the name of the latter. By July 1919, the Polish Second Republic, who had been on the offensive for some time, took control over most of the West Ukrainian People's Republic. However, the government remained in place until March 1914, 1923, when the League of Nations ruled that the administration in most of the former West Ukrainian People's Republic and surrounding areas of the Republic shall become a part of Poland. Ukrainian People's Republic or UPR was founded on 23 of June 1917, some time after the February Revolution shook Russia. It was pretty much the same as the West Ukrainian People's Republic, only that it was much bigger, it controlled most of modern-day Ukraine, and it controlled areas previously controlled by the Russian Provisional Government, established after the February Revolution. Let me quote Wikipedia to describe its end. Throughout 1919, Ukraine experienced chaos as the armies of the Ukrainian Republic, the Bolsheviks, the Whites, the foreign powers of the Umtant, and Poland, as well as anarchist forces such as that of Nestor Makhno tried to prevail. The subsequent Kiev offensive, staged by the Polish army and allied Ukrainian forces, was unable to change the situation, and in March 1921, the peace of Riga sealed a shared control of the territory by Poland, the Russian SFSR, and the Ukrainian RSR. State of Slovenes, Croats and Serbs was formed on October 29, 1918. It came as a result of the Slovenian and Croatian independence movement in cooperation with modern-day BIH, Serbian and other fractions. It was a model of Slavic unitarism. The state of Slovenes, Croats and Serbs did not just yet include Serbia, Montenegro, and other areas. On 1 December, 1918, it unified with Serbia, who had already conquered the self-proclaimed Banat Republic and some Hungarian areas to form the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes. The latter ceded the disputed Istria region to the Kingdom of Italy in 1920, following the Treaty of Rapallo of that year, not to be confused with the Treaty of Rapallo of 1922. In 1929, the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes would rename into the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, as it is now more commonly known. 
The kingdom of Yugoslavia was ruled by the Karadordovic dynasty, who were the rulers of the hitherto kingdom of Serbia. Banat Republic was formed in Serb and Romanian areas in, around, south and west of the Romanian city Timisoara. After the treaty between Hungary and the Allied powers, signed in Belgrade on November 13, 1918, the Serbian army was able to enter the Banat area. Three days later, most of its areas were under control of the Kingdom of Serbia, who would later unify with other southern Slavs into the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes. <laughs> Italian Regency of Carnaro was formed in 1919 by the Kingdom of Italy to secure the Italian occupation of what was formerly Austrian littoral. The area was inhabited mainly by Slovenians, who had already entered into the state of Slovenes, Croats and Serbs and had taken control of chunks of areas, claimed by Italy. Temporarily, the border was drawn on the Italian side of the city of Rijeka, or Rijeka. Fiume in Italian. In response, an Italian nationalist, Gabriel D'Annunzio occupied the area forcefully. This angered both governments in Rome and Belgrade, as none of them recognized such action as according to a de jure border. Thereby, Annunzio was able to create his own city-state of Rijeka. He implemented a far-right policy, closely resembling the later fascist idea of Mussolini. In 1920, the Treaty of Rapallo of that year redrew the border, guaranteeing Rijeka independence. Anuzio refused to cooperate with the Kingdom of Italy or recognize the treaty and declared war at Rome. Following a bombardment, Rijeka surrendered. Thus, the free state of Fiume was created. Italian Regency of Carnaro had a population of around 80,000, condensed in 28 square kilometers. Free State of Fiume was created after November 12, 1920, when the Treaty of Rapallo was signed, guaranteeing the disputed city of Rijeka, or Rijeka, Fiume in Italian, independence. By December 30, 1920, Italian nationalist anti-governmental forces were pushed from the city and the government of Italy reinstalled civil order, thus instating the Free State of Fiume. The parliament was controlled by a pro-Yugoslav majority Croat Autonomy Striving Coalition, which opposed a unification with the Kingdom of Italy, a proposal voiced by the nationalist bloc. After seven coup d'etats of backs and forths, the nationalist bloc strengthened their lines and led the final successful rebellion in early March of 1921. Soon, Italian troops entered and reinstalled the autonomous faction, but as a satellite of the Kingdom of Italy, thus ending the de facto autonomy of Rijeka. On January 27, 1924, the Kingdom of Italy and the State of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes signed the Treaty of Rome, officially annexing the Free State of Fiume to Italy. The Free State of Fiume had a population of around 80,000, condensed in 28 square kilometers. Macnovia was a monarchist state, trying to achieve anarchism. It was formed on November 27, 1919, it is stated it was created as a response to the White Guard installing Russian provisional government in most of Ukraine. It operated on the basis of so-called Free Soviets and Libertarian Communes. The army had authority in the cities, while the countryside was commanded by the peasants. Magnovia succeeded in fighting Denikin's White Army and some other factions. In 1921, the Red Army betrayed Nestor Makhno, the leader of the Makhnovist rebels in the region. The same year, Makhnovia was fully conquered by the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic and was destabilized. All activities ceased by 1922. Makhnovia was succeeded by the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic, by December 1922 a subject of the Soviet Union. At its height, Magnovia had an estimated population of 7 million. <laughs> Belarusian People's Republic, Belarusian National Republic, or White Ruthenian Democratic Republic, 
was formed by the German army in the occupied territories of what was once the Tsardom of Russia. It was declared on March 9, 1918. It was established on February 14, 1919. It still functions as a government in exile and is currently hosted in Ottawa, Canada. It is named the Rada of the Belarusian Democratic Republic. It is the oldest serving government in exile. Free city of Danzig, Polish, Gdansk, was a city-state created in 1920. It covered most of the so-called Polish Corridor, the area which connected core Poland with the Baltic Sea. It had a population of above 300,000, nearly 98% of them were Germans at the time, 1% was Polish. Its first president was politically an independent but would later join the Nazi party in the Third Reich as the mayor of Berlin. Its second president was a member of the German National People's Party, a nationalist party of the Weimar Republic. All presidents after that point were members of the Enstab, which thus gained prominence in the sector and de facto disintegrated the alleged justification of Danzig or war. It was a free port, used by both Germany and Poland for their economic needs, it also had quite a lot of influence from the League of Nations and their commissioners. As it could not control it perfectly, Poland instead built another port named Dynia. After the 1939 invasion of Poland, the free city of Gdansk was annexed by Germany on the second day of the war, September 2, 1939. Then, the government moved into exile. It still functions as a government in exile and is now based in Berlin, Germany. It claims that the German annexation of the land was illegal, and by Allied standards should not be incorporated into Poland after the war, as quote all occupied nations had been released unquote. However, the city was annexed into Germany a day before either Britain or France joined the war, rendering this a legally incomplete statement. The city is today a part of the Third Polish Republic, the claimed area extends almost 2,000 square kilometers, that is around 10% of Slovenia, or 7% of Hawaii. Idelural state was a union of Tatars, Bashurs, and Chavash people in the area of Volga and Urals. It was formed March 1, 1918 and was overrun by the Bolsheviks by March 28 of the same year, fleeing into exile. The president escaped to Scandinavia and later to the US. Soviet Republic of Soldiers and Fortress Builders of Nysar, was a pro-anarchist mutiny in the area near continental Estonia from December 17, 1917 and February 26, 1918, headed by Stepan Petrichenko, a renowned anarchist politician. The Black Fleet, the institution behind the rebellion, escaped north to the island of Kronstadt. Kronstadt was a pro-anarchist rebellion that was formed from the remains of the Nysar uprising. It was an answer to the destruction present all around Russia during and after the Russian Civil War and similar issues. Led by Stepan Petrichenko, it armed citizens of the island and the sailors of the Black Navy against the Red Army of Lenin, Trotsky, and Tukhachevsky. The Red Assault to the island is often nicknamed the Trotsky's Menace. The battles, lasting March 1 to 18, 1921, resulted in a suppression of the rebellion. Odessa Soviet Republic was declared soon after the forces of the RSFSR entered Kiev in the war between the Ukrainian People's Republic and the Russian Soviet Republic. Independence was proclaimed on January 17, 1918. Soon a coalition of anarchists, Bolsheviks, and social revolutionaries formed a government, essentially constituting a puppet state of the RSFSR as a breakaway state from the enemy to the Russian Soviet Republic. Due to instabilities in the Russian Civil War, no side succeeded to recognize the free city of Odessa, as the Soviet Republic presented itself. As the Brest-Litovsk Treaty was implemented, Odessa was overrun and the government was eventually evacuated to Rostov-on-Don. The Odessa Soviet Republic was de-established on March 13, 
1918. Republic of Prekmuria. He was born as a result of Hungary keeping Prekmuria. The modern day Slovenian part of the Hungarian half of Austria Hungary. There was some back and forth between Croat and Hungarian forces, but Croatian army failed to consolidate its grip on the area. In early 1919, Hungarian socialists formed the Hungarian Soviet Republic. Catholic and Lutheran elements in Slovenian majority region of Prekmuria they resisted this and declared independence of a state of theirs. Though there were local voices to establish a socialist Prekmuria, those went unheard. Vilmos Tkalets, a soldier and resident, declared independence of Prekmuria on May 29, 1919. Their resistance was overrun by June 6, 1919. Pro-Hungarian militias allegedly conducted questionable actions of raids and mass executions following the discontinuation of the Republic. After the Hungarian Soviet Republic was overrun, Prekmuria. the region was taken over by the Serb army. In the year of 1920, the Treaty of Trianon guaranteed Prekmuria. a to the state of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, where it would remain until the Second World War. It is now integrated into the Republic of Slovenia. First Hungarian Republic came into existence after the breakup of Austria-Hungary. It was a transitional rump state, de facto established at some point between the Astor Revolution of October 31, 1918 and November 17, 1918. It was a parliamentary republic, a so-called People's Republic. It covered over 282,000 square kilometers of land and had a population of nearly 8 million. On March 21, 1919 it was overthrown by the Socialist Fraction. Hungarian Soviet Republic came into existence after the following chain of events. First, the government of the preceding First Hungarian Republic found itself in trouble as it was ordered to retreat further inland by the Allied nations. Second, the president declared the government would resign the next day. The only parliamentary party, strong enough to install a government, was the Social Democrats. While the president approved them as the head party on March 21, 1919, they secretly merged with the communists into the Hungarian Socialist Party. The leading communist, Bela Kun, received a suggestion from Lenin to get rid of the Social Democratic majority in the party. Upon the finalization of this, the Hungarian Soviet Republic was finally complete. It was, however, unrecognized. The anthem was the Internationale. The foreign powers despised it due to nationalization and leftist policies. It was soon invaded through and overthrown by Romania by August 1, 1919. After the downfall, the Republic of Hungary was reinstated and some territorial changes were secured. Republic of Hungary was installed by foreign powers after the disestablishment of the Hungarian Soviet Republic. It was declared on August 8, 1919. As it de facto existed from August 1 onwards, a coup on August 6, 1919 resulted in a monarchist takeover. An interim government was set up until the restoration of the Kingdom of Hungary, on February 29, 1920. The Kingdom of Hungary would then remain as such until the end of World War II. Republic of Berloja was established in the midst of the Soviet-Lithuanian War. It was allegedly a satellite of Lithuania and the White Guard. Existing from 1918 to 1923, it was at first a self-governing parish committee, and later a buffer zone. It met its end in a division between parties in the then resolved conflict. I thank you for your attention. Please do make sure to subscribe and leave a like and a comment.